Hey guys, for those who don't know me, my name's Comic Bride. I am a professional RC car driver and I race for Team Proline. Um, I'm here to answer a couple questions for you guys today. I recently won the 2012 Femga Championship over in Thailand, Pattaya, where the Worlds were held uh, in 2010. I'm just going to talk about how I went over there, some of the um, preparation I'm doing uh, for the World Championships and for that race, and also some of the Proline products I used when I was over there. Uh, firstly, how do I prepare for a race? Um, firstly, I like to get my car fully prepared. Um, of course, for a big race like Femca, I want to have my car pretty much brand new, everything, all the plastics new, new engine, new, you know, everything, pretty much. Um, so I do that before the race, well before the race, I'm prepared. Uh, because the Femca, everyone goes over a couple of days earlier, so we get to practice for about three days. It was a bit like the Worlds, where everyone went over to practice. So this time around, I brought two cars. I brought my practice car, and then I have a brand new car for the actual uh, race meet. So with my practice car, I pretty much, I didn't completely do that new, but I did all the diffs for my shock balls to make sure it was still good. But um, yeah, for the three days I practiced with my practice car, I just try, tried to find a good setup on it. And uh, then as the actual racing started, I brought out this car and then raced with that because it was all brand new. So uh, that's pretty much what I do for that. Excluding the wrenching, I, uh, I like to get out to the track as much as I can. With my school, it's I can't get out during the day, but I like to pretty much race every weekend and hopefully, you know, if I have an afternoon free and my dad's not working, um, we can get out to the track as much as we can and do as much practice as we can. But at the moment, it's kind of limited with my schooling, my dad's work, so we do race every weekend, every Sunday, but um, I would like to get out much more, but at the moment, I'm going to get out as much as I can in preparation for the Worlds. Um, I take it all five rounds and the track in Femca. Uh, I did manage to TQ all five rounds. Um, my car was feeling really good. I started off, I just wanted to, go to get a good race in for my first qualifier. I think I placed second for that. And then for the rest of them, I managed to TQ. My car was really good. My Proline tires were working awesome. I ran the Proline blockade uh, pretty much all weekend. I didn't change. Uh, I swapped between M3 and M2 a couple of times because it was really hot over there. So during the middle of the day, I decided to use M2, which I kind of found was a bit better. But in the afternoons, it was a bit cooler and the M3s kind of worked out a bit better as well. So it was kind of a mix up between the compounds, but the same tread pattern pretty much the whole weekend. Um, the track changed a lot during the uh, the practice and the event. We When we first got there, it was... It started off grippy, but the more cars ran on it, it became a bit a bit blown out, a bit rough, a bit uh, dusty. But, um, yeah, going into the event, we thought it was going to be the same, but overnight, uh, before the control practice, they put this certain oil on that was called molasses, and the track the next day, pretty much, well, that oil, pretty much turned out to be completely black and, you know, heaps of grip, which was completely opposite of what we had, you know, the day before. So, it was kind of interesting, so we kind of, did, but we're changing set up during qualifying, which is kind of not normal for us. But I mean, you always got to look for that perfect setup for the final. You want to be completely comfortable. But yeah, the track changed a lot, so it was kind of interesting to see what the track was doing compared to no grip and then with heaps of grip. So we did end up changing quite a few stuff on my car setup, but we didn't really change too much on the tires or the products we're using from Proline. Um, now I'm going to go through all the Proline products I used. Uh, I've got a couple things here. Firstly, I've got the Proline Blockade. As you can see, Proline Blockade M3 compound. Um, also mounted up with my Velocity Lightweight Wheels. Um, both of these things, I think, definitely were the best tyre for the weekend. Um, they didn't definitely didn't let me down. I mean, these tires, they were working really good all weekend. The car felt completely smooth. The tire wear for everyone was pretty bad because the track had so much high grip. But even with these, even when I did run out of rubber, it didn't feel like my car was, didn't feel like my car was um, getting out of control or anything like that. The car was really good. And the tire wear, it wasn't, wasn't too bad. I mean, everyone had pretty bad tire wear, but 
even when I did lose tie weight, it felt like you know the car was still hanging on. So I think these tyres were definitely really good for the weekend. And of course the lightweight wheels, they're really awesome, I like these. Um, obviously, you can physically feel that they're a lot, a lot lighter, so I think definitely if you, you, know, you want your car to be lighter all around, and you're struggling to find ways to make your car lighter, that's what the lightweight wheel is there for. One more thing I got here, the Proline fuel gun. Probably, my dad would say it's probably the best thing he's ever come across. <laughs> Uh, he thinks this gun is probably the best gun he's ever used. He's my pit man and he fuels me, so we found this. Um, we weren't originally using it and we wanted to try it out and as soon as my dad used it, he thought, wow, this thing is way faster than anything I've ever used. So I think that definitely gave, gave me an advantage in the pits. My dad's always really quick, but now he's got the Proline fuel gun, he's even quicker. So I'm pretty happy about that. He's definitely never let me down in the pits before, so, you know. Keep up the good work, Dad, with the Proline fuel gun. Uh, one thing I didn't use when I was in Thailand, but I wanted to show you guys that I recently got, I'm sure you all know, the Proline tyre bag. This thing right here. I didn't use it in Thailand because I had way too much tyres to fit in here because Thailand was like, I don't know, a long seven days of running. But um, yeah, this thing I just got, and I've been doing a lot of 10 scale racing up at a new track at Gold Coast here in uh, Queensland, Australia. And uh, this thing is awesome. I just want to fit my tyres in something. I never have room for my tyres anywhere. They're always just floating around. <laughs> so I've got my Proline tyre bag and I'm super set to go. If you want something just easily carry tyres in, perfect size, 8 scale or 10 scale, go to a club meeting and when you want to race, got nowhere to put your tyres, Proline tyre bag is there for you. Uh, the last thing is, leading up to the Worlds, what are my plans in order to be completely prepared, prepared for the Worlds? Um, of course I want to be as prepared as possible for the Worlds, not only with my car, but my mental preparation. Um, I want to be, you know, as fast as I can be and as uh, on it as I can be when I get to the track. Um, I'm not going to the pre-Worlds, unfortunately I'd like to go, but I cannot make it to the pre-Worlds. But um, I will be there for the actual Worlds in December. So basically what I'm going to do is obviously I'm going to get a new car for the Worlds. Make sure everything is perfect on that car. Make sure nothing's uh, been done wrong. My dad will help me with that. Make sure I haven't done anything wrong. Just make sure everything's brand new and uh, running in a bit. Make sure it's uh, all working and ready to go. Um, as far as wrenching goes, that's pretty much standard for any big event. But um, nothing really different there. But um, of course I want to be... You know, mentally prepared. I want to try to do as much practice as I can, so I can be, you know, you know, really fast from the get go. So I'm going to try to get out of the track as much as I can for that event. Before that event, try to practice at least. I mean, for me, at least twice a week because it's hard with my school. But for me, twice or three times a week would be a lot for me. So I think that'd be really good if I can get out that much before the worlds and try to get as much practice as I can and uh, get as much run time as I can with this car and these tyres and test all different tyres and things like that. And uh, yeah, I want to be mentally prepared, I want to know, you know, what I want to do when I get there, what I want to first try, look at the track, see what I want to try, what tyres, you know, what setup, of course. And uh, apart from that, I just want to, um, you know, I like to uh, do a couple secret things to mentally prepare myself, make sure I, uh, you know, am on it from the get-go, my brain is, uh, <laughs> and reactions are all good and ready to go. So uh, um, apart from that, I just uh, want to look, you know, look forward to being uh, hopefully make the main again. I mean, that's like an ultimate goal. I want to make the main again. Um, I did in two thousand and ten. I came fourth, which is really cool. Now I got different tires, different car. I'm feeling even more confident than I have before than I was two years ago. So um, if I can do that, and I think uh, I'll be all good to go for uh, the World Championships this year, and. Uh, Wish me luck, anyways. <laughs> so, uh, you're here with Carl McBride and Team Proline, and uh, look out for new products from Team Proline. I'm sure they'll be bringing out some new stuff for the World Championships. Definitely get the fuel gun, get your lightweight wheels and your tyres, and of course your tyre bag, and you'll be set to go. Thanks very much, guys.